total you see here comes to 187.19 which is less than what you'll be paying as a government registration fee so you save on that and also you get this uh, minute book for free hi friends in today's video you will see how you can set up your business in canada that is in corporation numbered in corporation in less than 10 minutes in simple easy steps and not just that you will pay out of your pocket less than what you actually will pay and you will get some benefit by going through this process so do watch the video till the end and uh, like always if you have any question please use the comment section to ask any question and without wasting much time what you need to do is go and click in the link which is given in the description if you're on a laptop this is how the link will be shown in the description and if you're on a mobile this is where the description will be and the reason is when you use this link you see here you get a 15 percent discount at the time of checkout and also you will see the benefit of going through this process where you get few of the things either at a discounted rate or absolutely free for the first year so with that we are on get started and then you come to this page tell about your business and click new we are opening a new business and choose the province i'm in ontario so i will choose ontario here whichever province you are from you choose that and then click next now you get this compare your option uh, page you can go and in case you're interested you can go and check option between incorporation and sole proprietorship by now when you have come here you have decided to incorporate so click select and then i want a named company so basically your company will have a name in case you wait for a numbered company then you select numbered company so you can choose between these two whichever you want i'm going with the named company and what that named company will be called i am going to type cipher 40 okay consulting so once i have written this you see here it shows confirm so it has to satisfy the legal requirement if it is not then you will be shown this warning so basically once this is done from this drop down you can choose any one option which you want so i go with in key so as it is and then click next so on this page you enter your first name last name email id and password and then once everything is done click sign up we're on this page where we'll be filling these details and these are very simple ones uh, which you will see compared to what you have to go and do that directly on the government website so for example here you enter your phone number and then the address from the province where you are so here i'm showing ontario in your case you'll have to go and select the province where you are from and then comes i'm a canadian resident so what is canadian resident this includes citizen and permanent resident who ordinarily reside in canada so you can go and read more here one this is clicked next this is the corporate information page here my company will be federal canadian corporation based in ontario because i had selected ontario before so by default it comes and then the address what is shown gets transferred automatically here then my company will operate in you see this drop down from here choose the closest one to which your business is so you can just go go through and check for example in my case it comes in technology internet and software and also in consulting and business service so i'm going with what is the closest one so once this is chosen the company's physical year end date will be last day of december so i'm not changing anything here then it's going to follow january to december cycle and then in that case i'll be filing every around you know may june whenever you know the filing has to happen next name confirmation i want a named company so i had selected named in case you have selected numbered then this will show up so keep it as it is then company name comes here directly from what i had entered at start and then you see this requirement also beats and then click next now come the director and officers i will manage and own this company by myself so there are two options here with others if you select with others then you have to enter 
the other directors or officers detail so for a single person entity pi myself and click next so once it completes you see this director and officer detail has been completed the share and share classes also have been completed so in case of government uh, a website you have to go and make entry into every single field so they have streamlined this process now individual with significant control here by default the name comes in here because it's a single person entity and uh, in case any other individual has to be added that will be added here so since it's a single person entity i'm keeping as it is now there are some missing information which has to be filled let me click here here you would review your profile basically update your date of birth and then if you have a detailed address for the residence then you would select this because whatever is going to be here will be made public so just go through this and select uh, whatever your choice is if you select this then you have to fill in this detail i'm deselecting and then save some additional information is asked like citizenship country so you can select from this drop down and once you select it will show up like this and then jurisdiction for tax purpose again you choose from this drop down by entering country name and tax pur purpose jurisdiction would show up like this so once this is done finish and then you come back to the individual with significant uh, control page where whatever you have entered that shows up and then you click next now this is the choose your plan section and you see here the government registration cost $200 and then the legal formation to 99 one time fee again when we go to the total you will see the reduced uh, uh, payment uh, what you will be doing and also how significantly you save so this is one part the other part is the annual subscription if you are still figuring out with your business then going for online minute book plan makes sense which is absolutely free for the first year and this will help you to organize your document and secure any minute book and then by the time you can figure out how and what you're doing if you're already into a serious business and you want uh, somebody to handle then it makes sense to go for the managed corporate plan so for this uh, video i'm selecting this free one minute book plan so you see here total 200 to 99 and then once i select the free one minute uh, uh, free minute book plan selecting the total you see here comes to 187.19 which is less than what you'll be paying as a government registration fee so you save on that and also you get this uh, minute book for free for the first year subscription and uh, the promo discount that is 44 dollar 85 cents so the total out of your pocket will be 187.19 overall so one thing to note here is that because you have chosen the rbc bank account here you get a discount of 300 dollar additionally and you have to open the rbc bank account within 60 days of the payment if it is not done then this 300 dollar would be charged back to you so you can read it here and uh, once you have an incorporation you would want a business bank account it makes sense to have it if you don't want just go and deselect and then the total would change so i'll keep as it is and then click next now it's time to do the payment through credit card once the credit card detail is entered and pay now is done then the next step is name reservation and the final review of document and uh, once these two are done you submit the document after which the paper will be checked by uh, owner and then they will inform you once the incorporation becomes active once that information comes you can apply for the business identification number and uh, for that you will have to call up cra and give details on your business and if you want uh, the uh, hst gst to be active or payroll to be active again that can be done online through speaking to cra so friends i hope you find this video useful and uh, make sure to use the link to avail this uh, benefit and uh, all the best for your business thank you